Welcome back, Tweet Hearts. It is October 18th at Wright and Company Law Offices. Uh, actually, I don't know what date this is. Whatever the date this is, when, whenever this has come out, uh, happy Christmas, happy New Year, and other such holidays, depending on when this came out. I hope you are enjoying, I am fairly sure this is probably out by the the new year so we are officially into 2023 um i'm definitely having fun with this game and getting into all the other stuff so we are going to jump right back into this uh you know i'm I, i'm recording this back to back to back but i know this is not going to be out all the time because i've got loads of stuff to do and you love it so welcome back hope you like and subscribe click the bell all the other YouTube rigmarole. Check out the other channels uh, that are on here, all the things we do. And yeah, let's just jump right into this because we are back to investigate. We've been a very naughty phoenix, but we did it for the greater good. The greater good. So we have accused Wendy Oldbag, the security officer, in order to buy us time to see uh, who these other big wigs, the producer, the director, etc. So let's just jump right in. All right. Phew, what a day. This is no time for relaxing, Nick. Say, so you think WP's got a chance? I guess that really depends on the people we found. I guess that really depends on the people we found out about in today's trial. The director and producer? Yeah, them. Well, what are we doing here, then? Let's get to the studios. All right, well. Uh, yeah. So we're going to move, but we're not going to go there yet. We're going to go to the studio main gate. Because, um... No one's here. Well, no, right now that they have Miss Old Bag in custody. I guess they don't have anyone else to replace her. Hey! In the guard station, look! She left her donuts! What? I wasn't going to eat them. I was. Alright. So, one thing I want to do... Hello, birdies. Uh, one thing I want to do first, before I go uh, to... Because uh, we don't want to go to... Out we don't want to go to Studio 2 yet. I want to check one thing in the employee area. So that's where we're going to go first. Um... Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey! Oh, hi, WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh, oh, don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh, oh, oh. See, I can picture, like, Phoenix putting a hand behind his head, all blushing now. I, I'm not gonna lie, Penny is very, very cute, so... Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Oh, yep. Wow, what a mess. Why not just put the grate back? I I know. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? B right. Just lots of times they end up looking worse than bef they did before I fixed them. Oh, Oh, well, I'm sure these things happen. Nothing to worry yourself about. You're right. I won't. Personally, I think she should worry about at least a little bit more. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Ms. Oldbag. Right. See you later, then. Good luck with your investigation. All right, so let's see. She's covered this up. So, let's see. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see, let's examine here. So, the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. Hey, hey, Nick! If that drain's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah, I think that was the idea. I feel kind of sorry for him, though. 
don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. You know what? Rip it open, because I have a feeling that's going to come in handy to catch the kid. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! You know, Nick, you're pretty swell sometimes. Sometimes? hi -ya! There, that should make those kids happy. The things we do. All right. Now, I want to go back to that detention center. I want to talk to Will. Let's see. Uh, go back to the studio, Madam Gay. I want to ask some questions. Oh, hello. Ho ho, you look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing? Uh, no, we're going to go to the detention center. Because I want to talk to Will about the director. October 18th, detention center, visitor's room. Besides, I want to give it a chance that great to let the kid get through. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky, to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Hmm. S sorry, but no. Be sure to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. We can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Y yes. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk. Let's ask about the fanboy. Do a... Uh, fanboys sneak into the studio often? No, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. But in today's testimony, didn't she say they were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. All right, what about the director? Was the director present at the morning's run-through? Yes, yes, he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Well, well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. That has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bar. Oi, when he loses, he's going to lose big. I, I see. <laughs> Whose side is she on? Good question, Phoenix. You aren't hiding anything else from us, are you? N no, I sure hope not. All right, so. Let's head back. All right, let's go to the studio main gate again. All right. Let's go. Uh, whoops. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that one. I want to talk. Okay, let's ask about the fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well, I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. He has a bit of trouble catching him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. All right, what about the director? I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio had seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director? More the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? So that's more about the studios. So how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. Yeah, we saw the flies buzzing. You mean those plates with the steak bones left over on them in the employee area? Yeah. Can you believe it? Yeah, I can believe it. Um. Although, honestly, they would have they would have collected everything by, by now. Um. All right. 
Let's move to the employee area, see if we've got anything from the grate. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want that one. I wanted to... Oh, that's that's right. Cue is slide. All right. Nobody in there yet. So let's go into the dressing room. WT... <laughs> oh my god, no! No! Not text talk! <laughs> oh god, I can't wait to see what this guy looks like. Oh god, okay, here we go. WTF, who, what are, who are Jews dudes, Lamau? <laughs> I can't do this! <laughs> okay, okay, bird, professionalism, professionalism! I'm sorry! <laughs> This, this, oh God! Please tell me he lives in his mother's basement. H huh? W we? Wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Oh, what's the voice for him? <clears throat> oh God! Whatever, lamers. Oh God, I need to find a voice for this. Whatever, lamers. Oh, God, what, what does comic book guy sound like? Uh, lead in line bird. A family picture. Whatever, lamers. How can you not know the great Sal Manella? I make the late. I make, I make to. Leet shows? Uh, I'm gonna so struggle with this. I, I, I feel like such a boomer right now. <laughs> oh, thank you for that translation, RTFC. Uh, I make delete shows. The Steel Samurai, mine. The Steel Samurai, mine. RTFC. Read the film credits. R really? You're the Salmonella? I I'm so sorry. I just, you look so... Sorry. Yeah, he does look pretty sorry. No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine. R-O-F-L. Is he actually saying R-O-F-L? R-O-F-L. Is he actually saying this? Is he talking in text talk? So he's literally standing there going, No, no, quite all right, really. It's fine. R-O-F-L. Oh, I think I've got comic books guy's voice in my head. W what is it? You know, on closer inspection. Mm, yeah. Hot, hot, hot! Ugh, oh, gross! Oh, gross! No, 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 no! Don't make me do this. <laughs> hey, do you just did you do a lot of cosplay? Cause that costume rocks, rocks or rockers? Drool. Is he actually saying drool? Like asterisk drool asterisk? Is is he literally talking in text talk? Like, I've used asterisk, you know, to denote actions before, too. But, oh, my gosh. Is, is this guy going to... This guy belongs on r slash nice guys. I have a feeling. He's just a nice guy. Rock source? What? what, what? Hey, you're drooling. Huh? <laughs> Lol. Buffer overrun. Asterisk. Pant. Asterisk. You... God, you've triggered my creative powers. I, I, I would do this like I see it, but honestly, it, it would take forever. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess! The sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink Princess, Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. ROFL, LMAO. Pink princess? Why has it got to be Little Old Tokyo? Why can't it be a cool name like Neo Old Tokyo? Maya, we really need to talk about cool. 
Um, okay. Hope y'all are ready for this guy, because I'm going to be honest, I'm not, but I'm going to give it a go. Let's do this, bird. Whoo! All right. All right, dude. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know what Jews dudes are. That security lady, Jew told. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh, I know who Jew dudes are. That security lady told Jew about us, eh? That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run-through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. Huh. I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A uh, T-bone steak, was it? Yeah. Suckers. I hate missing out on food. Nick? What does suckers mean? No idea. Same. Comment down below. Anybody translates all these, these text speaks for those of us uh, not in the know. <laughs> anyway, I was in a meeting from noon until noon till after four. With the producer and some big wigs from the network. His voice is kind of difficult. He was supposed to have like a deep voice, but I want him to sound like comic book guy. Uh, from The Simpsons, but I'm trying to remember that. I may have to go back and listen to him. Because he's some... Because comic book guy in The Simpsons is supposed to sound like Ralph Bakshi. Like a parody of Ralph Bakshi. So I'm trying to do somewhere between that and Ralph Bakshi. Because Ralph Bakshi is actually one of my favorite um, directors and um, producers and whatnot. Like, I, I grew up watching... Um, uh, his version of Lord of the Rings, which w had Fellowship and Two Towers. It cut off at Two Towers. He didn't do Return of the King because I think Rankin and Bass was doing Return of the King. But I also have since, in the years since, I have watched Cool World. Um, and I know what he was trying to do, which sounds like it would have been a good, cool film if he'd been doing it. But that is neither here nor there. Ralph Bakshi, so love him. Absolutely love his stuff. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30. If he's telling the truth, that meeting gives him an alibi. Uh, let's ask about the, the producer. About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez. She's got a fairly normal name for this game. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. Asterisk sweats. Asterisk. I could totally see him doing that. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah. We were together from noon to 4 p.m. The whole time. All right, let's ask about the bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over the network and some uh, sponsors. Also, a few production guys. They piled into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major tension. Asterix sweats. Asterix. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers. Asterix scowl. Asterix. Hmm. Sounds like they'd be real... Sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. Alright, so... Well, we, we've talked to this guy as long as I care to. We are going to the employee area. Bye bye Sal. Uh, let's go to Studio Main Gate. And we've asked Penny everything. So let's go outside Studio 1. Let's see if we can get to Studio 2 now. October 18th, Studio 1 entrance. Hey, Nick. It looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here today. You're right. He's probably up to his neck in paperwork after the commotion at today's trial. So, Nick. Remember that Studio 2 we heard about at the trial today? It was down that path with a fallen tree, right? Yeah, I think that's what they said. Maybe the director and the rest of them are there today. 
Now's our chance, Nick. Let's check it out. Yep. Outside Studio 2. Let's go. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Come on. Sorry, when I when I do some scrolling on um on the screen, it does that. So we have a van. This place is deserted. W uh Eek, Nick, Nick. What was that noise? Sounded like it came from the inside of the trailer. Someone would be inside. He Hello? Have you never watched a horror movie, Maya? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No, but there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Alright, well. Outside Studio One. And then to the main gate. Hey, Penny. Oh! Crud! Aha! You again! Eek! How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to- Oh, sorry. You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. I guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway, know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get away... Bleh, and you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now! One, two, three! <laughs> this lady's too much. Um. <laughs> okay, well. Should we try and talk to her? I'm about the kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down! N Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Yeah, um, we're... About the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder? If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Nick, I think she's losing it. I think we better run. Let's move back to um Let's let's move to the employee area. Whoa, oh. Oh good, I get to use my little boy voice. Oh, which comes and goes. I'll do my best. Hey. H hey, wait. I'll bet it came in right through that drain. Um Hey, um kitty -o? What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. H huh? But you're... You are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. Hippie fashion chick. H hippie fashion... Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You gotta hand it to Maya. She's pretty sharp. And pretty mad. I'm Cody. Cody Hackins. Call me Kittyo again and I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer. Uh. Hello, fanboy. Um. So, you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evildoer? What do you mean? We're on the Steel Samurai's side. Ha ha! Ha ha! You can't fool me! Okay, then what's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Ha! Easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm. Not bad, kitty -o. Watch it. What are they doing? Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you?
Did you see anything? He... He... Huh? He... Always... The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Yeah, I saw him! I saw everything! What? But... But no way am I telling you losers! What? Wait! Let me go! Oh, he's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped it into his... Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? S says sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Anyway, what was that kid saying? Sorry about that slight pause. I had uh, had a message on my phone. He saw everything. Um, well, we don't... Let's see. Well, then I guess the only place to move back... Uh, please, I do not want to go back in the dressing room. <laughs> I have a feeling Sal is still there. Huh. Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her! S stop Whippersnapper! Y yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Um, well... Um... Examine. Oh! The key! The key, the key, the key, the key! Hey, hey, Nick! Now's our chance! Check out the guard station! Good idea. Oh! This is it, Nick! The trailer key! The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Uh, yes, we will. Alright, let's go get us into that trailer Outside Studio One. And then... Outside Studio Two. Uh... Slide. And then examine. Examine. Thank you. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. Birds say yes. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. She seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. All right, well, into the trailer. Uh, let's see. Into the trailer we go. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. <gasps> this is your PSA. Don't smoke, kids, and subscribe. Thank you, Charlotte. <laughs> this is your reminder to, to subscribe and not to smoke. Eek! S someone's in here. Names. Uh, our, our names? Um, we're WP's lawyers, and um, I see. A and who might you? De Vasquez. The producer. De Vasquez. She's quite beautiful. Easy, Phoenix. Um. So, let's see. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, well. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. M Ms. Vasquez? Script. I excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A s script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it.
We're getting nowhere fast. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Ms. Vasquez? It's on TV. Every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her. Hey, don't get mad at me. All right, what about the director? About the director, Salmonello, was it? What uh, exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. I can't be bothered with anything else. Nick, are all the people in this entertainment business this weird? It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Y yeah. Wait. Y yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. All right. We'll give it to him if we see him. Vasquez's memo. The memo reads, bring me the script for episode 13. All right. Well. Let's go... Talk to Salmonella. Outside Studio One. Main gate. Employee area. <clears throat> Move to the dressing room. Yep, there he is. Ugh. Oh, no! Shoot. <laughs> I... Part of me really wanted to move. Uh... Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. The memo. Oh, present. There we go. That's what I needed. Here. I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Episode 13. Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Asterisk, sweats, asterisk. Uh-oh. Uh My ass is pwned if I don't find it. Asterisk shakes, asterisk. Nick? It might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I agree. Hmm. Alright. Well, guess what? I know exactly where he's been. <clears throat> uh, no clues here. So hang on, where's where's the thing again? Move. No, we don't want the dressing room. Oh, I, I see. I see what we need to do. Move outside Studio One because that's where this is. Move inside Studio One. There we go. Guess what? We're back at the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Yep. Yep, I had a feeling. Right on the director's chair. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. Which is the only place the script would have been. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. They're not that comfortable. They're really not. The director. Maya, take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Ah! Found it, Nick! The script! Good work. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, shall we... Move to outside Studio One. Move... Studio main gate. Move to employee area. Move to dressing room. Guess what? Present. 
Script! We found your script. Woot! Thanks! S still, I don't know. That woman is to be f That woman is to be... Phrased when you bring her something? Oh! Feared! E -A -E, okay. That woman is to be feared when you bring her something to her late. Say, um, do you think you dudes could take it there for me? Thanks. Is that producer really that scary? She made you cry, Maya. Well, she's certainly not normal. Eh, uh, quickly moving. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't like the way he was staring at us. Move to outside studio one. Move outside studio two. Move trailer. Present script. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to De Vasquez. Um, uh, you're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big idea? Who do you think you are, anyway? And and do you even know who we are? <clears throat> Powers lawyers. Um, right. Am I a suspect? N no, it's just... Well, no, but... You wanted to know about the day of the murder? Y yes Anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now, listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. <clears throat> impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The path? The path. Uh. The blocked path. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked? You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? M Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right, that. What an original name. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. It didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer, stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to the Studio One. Wh what? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'll corroborate my story. But, but wait. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. It is a monkey, after all. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio One at 2.30. See? Goodbye. 
Mr. Monkey's head data was added to the court record. <clears throat> this is not going to go very well, I think. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. It sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Yeah, let's head back. Nope, studio main gate, sorry. Move to Wright and Company Law Offices. All right. <clears throat> now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. <gasps> Mia! It's you! Mia! Yay! What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean, we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. Oh, that's Cody saying, Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. I don't know. He didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. All right, Leia. Thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. All right. Let's go to the studio main gate. Oh boy, here is everybody's favorite again. What's wrong? <coughs> Whipper snappers! She's been chasing that boy this whole time. When, when I ca catch him, I. Sounds like she hasn't had any luck catching him. I, I got a hostage now. Whipper snapper. A hostage. Uh, what do you mean, hostage? What's this about a hostage? When that boy was running away, he dropped this and and ran. <laughs> he'll, he'll come back for this one. It's kind of hard to understand her with all that huffing and puffing. It's kind of hard to talk with all that huffing and puffing. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag might I- No! I'm catching that brat with the last thing I do. Phoenix, do you have anything you might trade with her? Oh, a trade, huh? I wonder. Actually, I met with the director just now. Eh? Ha! My heart! I don't feel so good! Is she okay? Be before I go, I'd like to visit the place where poor, poor ha Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Um, what happened to the boy? If I see him again, I'll... Huh! Lay him flat! Huh! Huh! My, what a violent old lady. Alright, well... What do we have that we could trade? Keys? The car- Oh, wait a minute. Let's- Let's- with, That's the autopsy report, so... Um... Hmm... Hmm... I kind of feel like we should give her this, so... Yeah, let's give her this. Present... Key card. Hey, hey that- Oh, <sighs> that's a card, huh? Studio One! Right, a card key to Studio One. Huh, <sighs> I, 
I could visit poor Hammer. Oh, yeah, we should give her that so she could visit it. I'd like to visit. <sighs> he died. Phew. I was his, his fan. You don't have your own card, Miss Oldbag? Studio One isn't my turf. <sighs> You'll let me borrow. Borrow it then. If I give her the car key, then I won't be able to get back into Studio One. Uh... We're gonna lend it to her. Maybe she'll give it back. Why don't you let her borrow it, Phoenix? I guess it can't hurt. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. Card key lent to Miss Oldbag. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this, and we're even. Deal? What's this? A steel samurai trading card? That sneaky kid dropped it. I figure it's pretty important to him, though. Thank you. I may have a use for this. This must be the hostage she was talking about. A trading card, huh? Right. I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off toward the studio. Alright, well... Shall we go to the employee area? Because I have a feeling. There he is. Hey! Hey, you, wait, wait a sec! Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. All right. Watch out for Sal in there, Cody! He's sure to be in here somewhere. Found you. Damn it, he's getting away. Come back. There, he's back. How did she... Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Faye. Nice to meet you. Yo! And I'm Phoenix. Uh, sorry. And I'm Phoenix Wright. Who asked? Phoenix, you can take it from here. I'm not so sure I'm qualified. Uh, alright, kid. The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Ha! What would a lamer like you know about the Steel Samurai? H hey, watch that attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that. I'm only a kid. So, do you know anything about what happened here? Could you tell me, please? I don't know nothing. Hmm. Looks like a little persuasion is necessary. Maybe a bribe? Yeah, I can think of a bribe. Present. Card. Because he'll want these back, I'm sure. Cody, this look familiar? Hey! My you are! You are... Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. That card's really hard to get. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. By offering me something I already own, you're in effect eschewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. But what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? I, yeah, I'm with him. Whatever, I don't need that card. Huh? I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble... If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Really rare. You mean there's something rarer than ultra rare? Ultra rare premium cards are the way rarer than plain ultra rare cards. Come on. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. Premium. Rare. Why do I feel like we're talking about stakes? Alright, well. 
Where do we find... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we're not going to get anything out of him, so let's go to the employee area. Um... Well, so the only place left to go is outside Studio 1. But we can't get in, so we have to go to Studio 2. Let's go back in and see if uh, if Vasquez... Uh, trailer. Oh, hi! Hello, what brings you here? Oh, well, I had to arrange some stuff. Um... Yes? The, um, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay, whatever you say. Uh, the fanboy. Have you seen that boy since then? Nope. You missed it, though. The security lady was chasing around after the boy so fast I thought she'd collapse. Of course, he got away in the end. Boy, was she mad. Actually, we saw them. How's the old windbag doing? She was squeezing donuts through her clenched fist back at the guard station. Some people take their jobs a little too seriously. Amen, brother. So, Mr. Hammer. Are all the posters on the wall here of Hammer? Yes. It's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? Oh, sorry, that was Phoenix. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y you mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Uh-oh. Why do I get the feeling something's being covered up here? Um... Let's see. Well, okay. Well, we can't ask anything. Um, I wonder if it has anything... Um, let's ask her about this. Um, sorry. I'm really not sure what that is. Uh, well, that's a bit... No, no. No. Guide map. S All right. Uh, this is the only thing left. Do you know anything about this? Hey, that's a Steel Samurai training card. I collect those, actually. Of course you do. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. That's the card I need. Oh, of course it is. You don't know how long I've been looking for it. Uh, I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card. But please, I beg of you, please trade with me. T trade with you? Yes, trade cards. I'll even trade you an ultra rare premium card. Trade me it? Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare. Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everybody getting so excited about? Fine, we'll trade. Okay. Really? Th thanks! Then this is for you. An ultra rare premium. Oh, Cody! I love that. Er, er, erp. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. All right. Outside Studio 2. Move to Outside Studio 1. Move to Gate. Move to Employee Area. Move to Dressing Room. Present. See this card? Yeah, so... Wait! That's it! That's the last ultra-rare premium card I need! 
Come on, give it to me, please. You gotta give it to me. Wow, never seen him so eager. R right, okay. How about a trade? You're on. I'll give you a samurai spear and throw in an evil magistrate to boot. No, 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 no. Not that kind of trade. I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. All right, Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. If he knows something that could help us, we can have him take the stand tomorrow. All right. Guess what, kiddo? Time to talk. So you like the Steel Samurai? He's so cool! I... I guess. You're judging him by his looks. You have to look at his actions, at his life. I'm being lectured on life by a grade schooler? You like him too, don't ya? Uh, oh, me? Y yeah I um, love the Steel Samurai. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. Hmm... Uh, his kind nature, his fighting skills, willpower, his acting. Oh, let's not tell the kid that. His kind nature. R right, come on, think of something. I really like his, um, his kind nature. But what a guy. Totally. He looks so tough, but inside he's as gentle as a kitten. Yeah. So what else do you like about him? Don't tell me I have to keep this act up. So tell me what your favorite thing about the Steel Samurai is. His fighting skills. Gotta think of something. I like it when he, uh, he vanquishes his foes. Yeah, wazam! The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Check this out. It's my fan album. What the? It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai. I go to every live performance. Those stupid publicity stunts where they beat each other up in public. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never missed one. A perfect collection. Check it out. My new digital camera. Wow, that's very impressive. The newest model, isn't it? You bet, lady. I got it. I just got it for my birthday. My album has a name. Want to hear it? The Steel Samurai. Path to Glory. The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I took these with a digital camera. I got all the data on home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. Aww. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Uh, alright, what happened, kid? You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice. You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I... I saw... I saw everything! Well, well. We might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here that day around 2 o'clock. I had to come in through the woods out back so that old lady wouldn't see me. I got kind of lost, though, and I was in there for maybe half an hour or so. Then I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The, the Steel Samurai killed the bad guy. He used his Samurai Spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast, I got scared. I went home after that. I, I see. Must have been hard for you. Man, you say those nice things, but it's so obvious you aren't speaking from the heart. Um, right. Mia? Yes? I think we can say for sure this means the Steel Samurai did it. True enough. And the director has an alibi, so it wasn't him. Indeed. So... The only person left who it could have been is Will Powers. I have to admit, it's kind of a shock. 
But if you put this boy on the witness stand, your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. I think that would be wise. Best to leave this one alone. Not so fast, pal. Oh, hello, Gumshoe. I heard everything. This boy here is a key witness, and he's under police protection starting now. Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with me down at the precinct. No, I ain't going. Wah! That didn't go so well. We're back to zero leads. And now we have a serious handicap in court. W what are we going to do, Maya? Mia? Well, um, I really need to be going. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. C come on, the trial tomorrow, please. I need you there. Phoenix, can I ask you something? Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Yes, I believe it. Of course he is. That's all I wanted to hear. Excellent. I'll see you in court then. Great. Thanks, Mia. See you soon. All right. Well, that couldn't have wrapped up any better. Uh, we are going to leave that episode here. That is fantastic news. So we, that went a little bit long, I know, but hey, it's okay. Uh, we are getting into this. I have a feeling we are going to wrap this up with maybe mm, two more episodes. Uh, this will definitely be the longer one of them. I have a feeling most of the cases are going to be like this. But hey, I'm not going to stress too much about it. We are having fun and I hope you are having fun with the voices. I love doing little kid voices. I feel like I'm getting really good at this. Like, I think that is the best little boy voice I've ever done. It's a little rough. I could use a little bit of training. But that's the fun part about doing character voices is figuring out what I can do and perfecting it. Anyway, I will see everybody in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. And absolutely having a blast with this. And I hope you are too. Check out my uh, channel for other Let's Plays that I've done as well as audios that I've done. And I will see you in the next one. See you next time, Tweethearts.